Hello folks, Mundane Man here again, and today we are working on the 2012 Ram 1500 with the 5.7 liter Hemi, and today we are going to change the belt on it. Now, I haven't changed the belt before ever on this, so I'm sure after uh, 10 or so years, it's probably getting dried and wore out. I haven't had any problems with it, but you know, just good maintenance practice to replace the belt, you know, more frequently probably than I have, but uh, based on mileage, I had 100,000 kilometers, I'm probably due or overdue to, to uh, do this job without uh, having it snap on me on the side of the highway or something. So the uh, belt that I have here is an AC Delco Professional. Uh, you can see the part number on there and I'll post it down below. I got it on Amazon. So um, I think it's also, this one's also sold at uh, Napa here in Canada and um, appears to be a good quality belt. So let's get at it. Well, I've got my handy dandy hood light up there. I can't recommend this enough. It's uh, been great. You attach it to your hood and gives you uh, great light inside the engine bay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take note of the routing of the belt itself. We have the uh, alternator here, down here we have the power steering pump, we have an idler pulley down there, and then the tensioner pulley is down below there. Get my light in there and see so you can see it. We have the tensioner pulley down there, and then of course it goes around the fan pulley, and at the bottom, what you can't see probably is going around the crankshaft. So yeah, it's recommended that you probably take a picture uh, of how the belt is routed, or draw one yourself, and that way uh, you, you won't be there scratching your head forever trying to figure out how to get that belt back on. And here's a view from uh, the passenger side of the truck down below there you can you can see how it wraps around the crank pulley and how it wraps around the fan there's the idler pulley there there and back over here is where the tensioner pulley is okay so to take the tension off the belt from the tensioner pulley i'm going to be using a, a 3 8 inch drive breaker bar um, the reason i chose this was It'll give me a fair amount of leverage uh, because, you know, the muscle tone in my spindly arms is uh, going to require that I need some kind of leverage here. There's a 3 8 inch hole in the tensioner pulley. Okay, so the 3 8 inch hole on the idler pulley is right there where my finger is. So let's get our, uh, I call it a Johnson bar, but a pry bar in there with the 3 8 inch head on it. And we shall put it in there. Okay, there's my bar, and it's in the 3 8 hole in the tensioner pulley. So all I need to do now is pull up on my bar and loosen the belt off. As you can see that's taking the tension off the belt. You can see the belt's loose there. So I'm going to slip the belt off the alternator pulley there. And now I can release the pressure off the tensioner. And then continue to pull the belt off all of the pulleys. Kind of hard to get a good camera angle in here, but we'll do our best. And then there's your belt. Next uh, chore is you're going to have to thread it through the fan over the top of the fan so that you can pull it out of the bottom. Now if you're brave enough and think you got the right belt um, you can just uh, cut the belt. Now I need to fish the belt over top of the fan so that we can drop it out from around the, uh, the fan so we can avoid that shaft. I'm going to go underneath and do some of this as well. Just hold on a second. Okay, I'm underneath the truck and I'm just trying to pull the belt down. We're still around the 
I think that's the air conditioner compressor. And we got it all out. Yay! Now let's go measure it against the new one. Okay, here's our old belt. And I got my new one. Let's pull it out of the package and make sure it's the exact same size. See, this one's green, so I'm being environmentally friendly here. So if I stretch them out like that, they do look like they're pretty much the same size. And the, uh, you know, the, the tensioner wheel will help pick up any of the slack. My old belt wasn't showing any signs of wear or anything. Um, I mean, it's just one of these days though, it's just gonna kind of dry rot and come off, especially after 10, 11 years of use. Okay, before I put the belt on, I like to check pulleys and everything. Make sure, uh, you know, like there's no bearings gone. This is the alternator. This one's the uh, power steering. It's got a little back and forth play to it, but it does not appear to have any uh, noise on it. This is the idler pulley. And it's spinning freely. Um, as far as the fan, give it a wiggle, see if there's any wear in your water pump. I can't see, feel anything bad there. And then there, way down here is the tensioner pulley spinning that not seeing any noise and the air conditioning compressor spinning it feels good as well okay now the fun part to try and get this belt back on in the right way one thing to remember is where your pulley is ribbed the rib side is going to go into that pulley and the rib side of your belt is going to match that on the smooth surfaces the back side of the belt is going to uh, spin on that. So just remember, ribbed for her pleasure. Okay, first off, let's drop the belt down and we're gonna have to feed it over top of the fan so that we can get it on the other side of the fan blade. Now, the key to this job is patience. And patience is not one of my virtues. Okay, we have it on the other side of the fan. Okay, I'm back under the truck again. The first thing I'm gonna try and do is feed the belt over around the uh, tensioner pulley. So I need to slip it through in between the compressor, air conditioning compressor uh, pulley and slip it through there and get it around the tensioner pulley. Okay, so I kind of got it loosely positioned around the compressor, but I'm going to have to loop it up towards the uh, power steering pup up there. And I have it kind of loosely on the crank shaft here, crank pulley, and it is wrapped around the uh, tensioner pulley. Okay, now I'm going to go on top and see if I can thread the belt through the upper pulleys without messing up my good work down here. Then I'll have to release the tension off the tensioner pulley so I can get it on the very last pulley up top. Wish me luck. From up above, let's feed our belt on. We are going to go... It's going to come from the power steering pulley here. And then around, I'm going to tell you folks, this is hard to do with one hand. And we're going to loop back around the idler pulley. And then over top onto the alternator. Like such. So it's coming off of the power steering pump, going around the idler pulley, and then up over the alternator. And then is going to go on to the water pump right there. 
this green belt actually gives you a, a nice visual of the routing of the belt. So there it is on the water pump and then it's going to go around the crank below and then I'm going to go down underneath and uh, put it back on the compressor and the crank and the tensioner pulley. Okay, for a minute there I thought they would sold me the wrong belt, but from the top it's going to come down the uh, fan pulley and then it's going to go underneath the tensioner pulley then back around the crankshaft and then straight through over the air conditioner compressor. So that's kind of what the bottom end is going to look like. So it's always important to make sure you have uh, a good memory as to how the belt came off or a picture or whatever. I did go back to my earlier video to make sure I was doing it right and I wasn't so I'm glad I had the uh, video evidence. Now let's go to the top and see if we can get it tensioned on to the rest of the pulleys. Okay I've got everything wrapped around the pulleys other than the alternator and now I need to pull up on my bar so that I can uh, take the tension off the tensioner that way I can complete the uh, routing of the belt and get it over all of the pulleys. So I'm just going to pull up on that. See if I can get you in a position where you can see. And then bring that over the alternator. And then I'm just checking the other, the position of the uh, belt in the other pulleys. Make sure it's nice and straight. And I'm going to gently release the tension. And you can see the belt looks nice and straight on the pulleys. So it's going off of the power steering pump straight across, around the idler, up and over the uh, alternator, down to the uh, water pump slash fan pulley. Then it makes a direct 90 degree uh, turn and goes over top of the uh, uh, tensioner pulley, then down around the crank, and then straight across to the air conditioner compressor. Not the greatest views to do this. I'm going to tell you it wasn't you know, the easiest task to do because the belts keep slipping off the pulleys, but I found it was easiest to crawl underneath get the belt wrapped around the crank and the um, tensioner pulley and the power steering, or sorry, the uh, compressor, and loop it through the uh, water pump slash fan pulley, and then come up top and kind of keep some tension on the belt while I got it around um, the power steering, looped it through around the idler, and uh, then took the, the tension off the tensioner to slip the belt on onto the uh, the alternator pulley. There's probably many different ways to go about this, but it's uh, it's not that hard a job, but you know, you gotta be patient and you're gonna end up doing it two or three times because things just slip off. And trust me, I dragged myself underneath the truck a couple times to uh, get the belt back on the pulleys. Now I'm gonna take my uh, bar off so I don't forget about it. That would be bad, you start your vehicle and you've still got your uh, bar in there. Oops. Smashed you in the face there. Well, next thing to do is cross our fingers, stir it up, see if it uh, throws the belt or rips it. One thing to note is I printed this uh, diagram, which is supposed to be for a 2012 5.7 Hemi, and this diagram is wrong because it's missing the power steering pump in here. And the actual routing is for the power steering is you go over the power steering pulley, you go up and around the uh, idler pulley, and then back up over the alternator, and then down to the uh, water pump slash fan pulley. If you can believe it, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Okay, let's fire it up, see what happens.
Okay, so I ran it for about five minutes and checked the tracking of the belt and it looked good. Uh, I was kind of concerned that the belt was pushed against the uh, crank pulley a little bit too tight, but I don't think it is. There is, doesn't seem to be any other position it can be in, but the key is to make sure the belt is centered and in the grooves of the all the various pulleys. And don't forget, you're going to end up doing this two or three times. I mean, I, I guess if you've done this often, it's not going to be that difficult, but the pulleys get, I mean, they, the belt is long, so they just keep slipping off. Uh, all the different uh, pulleys while you're trying to work it uh, through the, the various paths. I thought I had a belt that was too long and I tested it against the um, original and it was the right length but the picture that I had for the belt routing was not correct off the internet so never believe what you see on the internet. That's it for this edition of Mundane Man where we changed the belt on a 2012 Ram 1500 with a 5.7 Hemi and this process is pretty much the same for many years of the uh, 5.7 Hemi but make sure you have the proper routing or you've drawn a picture if you're an artiste. If you like these kind of videos don't forget to like, comment and share it with your friends and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.